Pooh, I can't believe we have to do without our beautiful chopper. It's just a little diagnostic. It won't be long. Oh, you're hooked. I am. I really am. I love it. I love the whole feel of it. I love the wind in my hair, and I love all of the places I can put my hands and arms around you. Yeah. <laughs> but you know the best part? Not your hands and arms around me? Oh, that. That's the best part. But the second best part is I get to buy a whole new wardrobe. Oh, yes, of course, as if you need more leather. Okay, I have um, a lot of leather. But see, this, this leather is my sophisticated leather. Of course I it need, is. Yeah, it, it is, it is. Come on, look at this. This is gorgeous leather, but now I need sophisticated biker babe hot chick bike leather. Oh, of course you do. Mm. What was I thinking? Mm. Mm. Oh, boy, I'm mm. so glad Allison talked to you into buying this bike. Yeah, I think Allison could talk anyone into anything. Mm -hmm. What is it? Oh, I just started thinking about Libby. Oh, which means Chris Ramsey had to cross your mind. He's going to hurt her. He's going to hurt her, and I, I just know it. And there's nothing I can say to her because she just thinks I'm being an overprotective father. <sighs> well, you are, which you should be. But the problem is with those girls that age is they only listen to other girls their same age. Allison. Well, since you brought up Chris, you know, do I get to give you my opinion or are you going to bite my head off again? I did not come here for a lecture. Okay, well, I guess I got my answer. <laughs> Allison, look, I told you why I wanted to be with Chris because I want you to support me and stop putting him down. Libby, you, you can't just say, I'm going to be with this guy, you know, he's my one and only. I mean, you've got to, like, feel it. Chemistry is really important. But he gets me, you know, he... He understands me, and that's what feels good. Not as good as chemistry. <sighs> I, I, I have just been too distracted to appreciate him in that way. Yeah, you have been, and that little distraction is called Jack. Okay, he's the one who makes your toes curl. I am going to see what I have with Chris, for real this time. Okay, so back to our conversation. Mm. Are you mental? Oh. Thanks for the support, Allison. What? I'm, I'm sorry. I just, I, I don't understand why you are so gung-ho all of a sudden for Chris. This is not sudden. Chris and I have always been good friends. I've just been too turned around to see him as something more. Yeah, you've been turned around looking at Jack, right? Look, those are real feelings. I'm sorry, but it's true. No, Jack and I are over. He made that real clear to me. Oh. oh, and come on, it's even clearer now that he's seeing someone new. Oh, please. You think he really takes that skanky biker chick seriously? I don't know what Jack takes seriously anymore. Livy, come on. No, really, it's, it's better this way. Everything happens for a reason. So then why are you trying to make it happen with Chris? I'm not. I'm, I'm just trying to give him a fair chance. I mean, I, I have not let myself be with him, like let myself really, really be with him, you know? Yeah, but you really shouldn't have to try and feel something for the guy. I mean, either you do or you don't. Well, I do. Chris is great. And come on, he knows me so well, and we have got so much in common. Chris is a doctor. Gosh, I want to be a doctor so bad. We like the same music. Oh, wow. Hey, look, you're not going to sell me on this, OK? So who are you really trying to convince? Hmm? Jamal, you're supposed to be done. When can I get my bike back? Well, as uh, soon as it gets ready. I thought Jamal would be working on it. Don't worry. Be done in a few. Then you can take it for a ride. I'll wait then. I'll work then. So how's the tug of war coming? I'm not sure what you're talking about. I mean the game that you and your brother are playing with my daughter. The one that's ripping her heart out. So Libby, you uh you really meant it when you said that. You wanted us to be together? I mean it. I, uh, I just needed some time to figure some things out, but 
You will not be sorry you waited. I promise I'll make it up to you. I have to go to my office. Ah, uh, don't, don't worry. I'll wait here. I'll be back as soon as I can. See what I think I just saw. Lucy. You aren't. Tell me you're not thinking of going to bed with that idiot Chris. Look, Lucy, either you accept that I'm with Chris or I have nothing to say to you. Uh, come on, you you know I'm just trying I to know help. you. I know, I know you're trying, and I appreciate it, but I don't want your advice on Chris. Okay? He has been incredible to me. You just won't give him any credit. Oh, well, I'll give him lots of credit. Credit for trying to pull the wool over your he eyes. He knows my heart, Lucy. Things I've wished and hoped for, Chris figures them out. Really? Such as what? S music. I mean, he got me tickets to the Brad Masters concert, and they are like my absolute favorite group. I didn't tell him. He just knew. Well, of course he knew that all kids your age today like Brad Masters. Okay, pre-med. Helping me get into the program at PCU, and I never said a word to him about wanting to be a doctor. What, you think all kids my age just want to be doctors? Um, no. But it, it's like he's, he's like, like a soulmate. Like, the universe is sending me a sign. You know, your friend, the universe, is telling me that we are perfect for each other. Oh, Livy, please. Come on, how else could he know? I don't know. But I do know him, and believe you me, Simpatico is not Chris Ramsey's middle name. And come on, Livy, really, he is incapable of ESP. That is certainly not his strong suit. I was hoping this was you. Hoping this was you. I thought you was living when I came in, so I beeped you. Oh, that's a smart move. Oh, is that her diary? Yes, but you're welcome. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna make copies of the pages I need, and then I'll put the diary back in that drawer. Where I can pick it up? Yeah, and, and put it back where you found it. When? Uh, stop by tomorrow morning. What if she misses it before then? <sighs> Believe me, I'll be keeping Livy too busy. She uh, won't worry about her diary. You need to get back to Estelle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I told her I wouldn't be gone long. Well, they know. I still can't believe Chris is doing all he's doing to help me get into college. He's amazing. Yes, he is. All my dreams are coming true. Except... If I do get into the program, it means so much studying. I guess I'll have to give up the idea of taking a year and traveling around the world with Jennifer. We talked about it all through high school, but as much as I want to see Paris and sit in a little cafe and look out at the most romantic city on the planet, I guess I'll just have to wait. Maybe I'll never get there. He hasn't been reading her mind, he's been reading her diary. I'm still waiting for an answer to my question. If you want to talk, don't start by lumping me in the same category as my brother. Okay, I know you don't like me, hey, you know, I can live with that. Well, I have a lot of reasons for that. And good ones, too. I'm not saying you don't. I made some lousy choices. But Chris, well, Chris is his own. Pick your favorite animal. And I'm me. You tried to use Livy. Yeah, I did. In order to get back at my brother. And believe me, it was a mistake. Mm -hmm. That was a big one. Dr. Collins, I don't think you understand. But from the moment I met your daughter, there was something different. And that's the truth. Something incredible happened between us for the first time in my life. And hers, too. Which was? We were honest with each other. We were honest with each other in a way that we had never been with anybody else. Well, Livy was. I know I screwed up from the beginning with her. You know, for all the messed up reasons. And I know there's nothing I can say or do, you know, that can make up for it. I learned my lesson. I can't take it back. 
That's a hard one. Well, it's over. I lost her to Chris. And I don't blame her for that. And now, I gotta live with that for the rest of my life. But just so you know, there's nothing you can do or say that'll hurt me. Not more than I've hurt myself. <laughs>